Hello tennis players and tennis coaches, uh, Michael Summers again. Uh, just another small video uh, to talk about the toss itself, why we have uh, so many issues with the toss. Um, the basic reason and rationale behind it, which is proved by science and study, is the fact that we have a non-dominant hand and we have a dominant hand. Obviously when we're throwing with the dominant hand or we're tossing with the dominant hand, it's quite accurate. So you're talking about about a about a one foot area that that ball can go in to put that toss right in the right place to strike it. The problem is we're not, we also have the racket in the same hand. So I'm not sure how you're going to toss and then hit it at the same time with the ball and racket in the same hand. Obviously we use the second hand. The problem is when we go from our dominant hand to our non-dominant hand, that circle goes from being about a foot to being about 30.2 inches. So it's a lot bigger area from the non-dominant to the dominant hand. It's natural. It's natural with anybody. Unless you're really ambidextrous and actually can do both easily, you can see even with me tossing, accurate, not accurate. I have to watch this more. So basically it comes down to two things. Your non-dominant hand and your dominant hand and your finger release. Your finger release in your dominant hand is also more accurate. It's quicker. So it's a few seconds fingers release. Where your non-dominant hand, your finger release is not as quick. It's a little bit slower. Again, it's the non-dominant side of the body. So you're going to have more errors on this side. So we're asking for our dominant hand, of course, to strike the ball. But we're asking our non-dominant hand, which isn't as accurate, to toss the ball in the right striking area. So this is where you have, have a little bit of issue with it. And we do have some studies online that you're welcome to, to look at. Here's some of those studies where you're not you're down in hand and you're not down, down in hand. And you'll see that uh, circle, the circle of the strike area is much different. So we want to try to get that circle closer on the non-dominant hand. How do we do it? Your tennis toss pro. And this is basically isolates. What we're simply doing is isolating this. We're re removing the finger release. We're removing the area of movement of the ball from a non-dominant side and trying to keep that ball in the same area. Doing that, adding the ball into the cup. Again, if you've seen earlier videos, you see how to put this together, very simple. Cup those hands, make sure these fingers are squeezed together. If you open this up, you've lost it. Again, you're 30 inches back and forth. We want to bring that to about a foot. To do that, we want to use this as a lever and we're simply going to go straight up with this. Straight to where you want that ball toss to be. You're squeezing to eliminate the finger release, number one. Number two, we have a cup here using our shoulder as a lever to help us put that ball in the same place on a non-dominant side of it. So it's assisting us in putting that ball there, almost as if it's our dominant side. By doing this, one of the things that's going to help you is by getting that toss there every time, you can focus a lot less on the toss. It's going to be there every time. The cup's going to put it there every time, just sit right there. So what you want to do here is focus on this part of your game. So now you're focusing on your swing, you're focusing on your serve. You're not spending half your lesson focusing on just the toss. It allows you to keep that toss in the same area so you can improve this part of your serve. So any questions on that, please go to the website. Again, we have plenty, plenty of studies if you're interested, but it comes down to non-dominant versus dominant. It comes down to finger release. Again, much better on this side than this side. So we wanna make sure that you're using this cup to help you keep that ball in the exact same area every time. Tennis toss pro. Put that toss every time in the same place. So one of the analogies you'd think of is if you're at the pub with the buds and you guys are having a few drinks and you go to the dartboard, try to throw a dart with your right hand first. You'll see, you can just, the finger release is there, it goes right into the middle of the board. It depends on how many drinks you've had, of course, how many beers you've had. But go to your non-dominant side and then try to do the same thing. Just watching me do this, you can see my release isn't as quick and that, that, that release out into the board isn't as fast. You're gonna see that's gonna spray out a little bit. It's very simple. Again, we're talking about a dominant side in which you have a dominant eye, dominant side of the, ball, of the body tossing to where you want it to go and it feels very natural. I take a dart, I put it in this side, this feels very unnatural. Just simply doing this on video, natural, this doesn't feel as natural. That's what you're talking about when you toss. 
You could toss on this side and serve on this side. That would be very natural. Of course we can't. We toss our non-dominant side to our dominant side, which is our strike. So what you want to do is work on keeping this within that foot. How do you do it? Tennis Toss Pro. Thank you.